You may have noticed our online feature, The Book Report, a monthly look at some of the best newly released books. This weekend, with plenty of summer days yet to come, we decided to share some must-read picks on television as well as online. Here's Washington Post book critic Ron Charles. As temperatures heat up and you start thinking about books for summer reading, here are a few suggestions to check out. The Latecomer by Jean Hanf Korolitz is a wicked comic novel about triplets conceived through in vitro fertilization. As these three spoiled children grow up, competing with and sniping at each other, Korolitz's family epic tears through modern art, liberal education, political correctness, international terrorism, and American spirituality, all while delivering one explosive surprise after another. Trust by Arnand Diaz takes us back to the Roaring Twenties for a fascinating look at one of the richest men in the world. Or make that four looks, because Trust is actually a quartet of conflicting stories about a young stock trader whose financial intuition seems almost supernatural. Eventually, his wealth becomes so vast that he imagines he can afford to control exactly how the public remembers him. Thirty years ago, a girl named Tracy Flick campaigned for student body president with disastrous results. Tom Parada told that story in his witty novel, Election, and Reese Witherspoon immortalized the young candidate in the movie with Matthew Broderick. Now, in Parada's new novel, Tracy Flick Can't Win, Tracy is a vice principal up for the top job as head of school. She's the best candidate. She deserves it. What could possibly go wrong? During his remarkable career, left fielder Ricky Henderson stole more bases and scored more runs than any other major league baseball player. He's the subject of Howard Bryant's new biography, Ricky, the life and legend of an American original. It's the story of a young man who grew up in segregated Oakland, California, charged into a sport still clinging to its racist past and changed the game forever. For these and other suggestions about what to read this summer, contact your librarian or local bookseller. That's it for the book report. Until next time, read on.